Um, hi, big boy. Hi, big boy. Is that good stuff there? Let's see, let's do a little taste test here. Lap up those ants with the sticky saliva. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Piper, come here. Piper and Scout are here. Now, you guys obviously know Piper if you guys have been on this channel for a little bit, but for you guys who have been on for a longer period of time, who've been following the journey, Scout is the other dog here. Scouty, what's up, Scout? Scout and Piper are best friends, and if you guys remember the puppies that we had, Scout was the dad to those puppies. These guys have been playing all morning, but today's video isn't about them. Just wanted to let them out to go to the bathroom and show you guys what they're up to, how Piper's been growing. She's been getting to be a big girl. Piper, come. Don't chew the grass. Don't chew the grass. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, Scout's got a sheep. Scout's got his sheep toy. Anyway guys, we are gonna be heading to ZWF Miami right now because we are gonna go and feed the anteaters. Now, I'm not exactly sure which ones we're gonna feed. Hopefully, well, you guys are just gonna have to find out. We have two different species there that I'm going to show you and then we're gonna make them their special smoothie and maybe even give them a special treat. Let's head over to the zoo right now and see these anteaters. All right guys, so we are here at the zoo now. And obviously, you can see I have Asha and Kaya behind me. Look at these beautiful girls. And Max, that's not a female lion. That's Max, the big, beautiful male lion. Come here, ooh, ooh, ooh. All the big cats have their own little calls and everything. These guys are looking amazing. Sing to us, Max, sing to us. But guys, today's video is not about these beautiful lions here. Today's video is obviously about the ant eaters, but before we go and do that, we have to load up some hay for the primates because it's getting a little cold here and that's what's gonna keep them warm overnight as the temperatures drop. So let's go get that hay right now, load it up and give it to those primates. So what we gotta do is load up some of this hay over here. You're gonna get a whole bale just like this and then we're gonna bring this over here without making too much of a mess. And just like that, we got our bale of hay, we might need some more, but now we're ready to keep those monkeys warm. Now it is getting later guys, so I think we're gonna head straight into making that anteater food, the anteater smoothie, and we're gonna have to rush this before the sun goes down so that we have enough light to see these big anteaters because they are just amazing. So right now I'm heading over to the kitchen where we are gonna make the anteater food. Megan and I have already kind of started in the animal kitchen over here. What we have is a mixture of insectivore diet, leaf eater, and cat food, and then we're gonna add some other things to it once we get it into the blender. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a scoop of insectivore, just a little bit, shake that down, and we're gonna come over here, gracias. Scoop full of leaf eater biscuits, even those out, and then now that we have that, get some cat food. Yum. The reason that we do this in the layers, as you can see, is so that way it mixes evenly, because this is not only going in one bucket, but it's going in two different buckets for, do for two different cages, the tamanduas and the giant anteaters. So you guys are just gonna have to see as we go along, and we're gonna have to add the other things like the honey and the other ingredients once we get it over to the blender. So now we have our mixture back here. We've wet it a little bit, but we also have this extra water because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this mixture inside the blender. We've got the Ninja right here. We're gonna get this blender, fill it up with a little bit of the mixture, put the water in, then add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some honey for some sweet flavor, some bananas, we have four here, and four eggs. Once we get that mixed up, we'll be ready to give it to the anteaters. We kinda already started, as you guys can see, there's like stuff in there. There's what we already made. What we gotta do is we gotta get these two bananas. We gotta put these guys in there. One and two. Then Bonnie can probably peel this faster than I can. Then we're gonna take our mixture here. 
doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to mix it afterwards. That looks about good. Two eggs, one, and we'll just set this here for now. Two. I feel like I have my own cooking show right now. And then a little bit of water and we'll add more as we go. Oh, there we are. I got buckets. Done with the buckets. We're gonna need those later. You guys will see why. Anyway, we're gonna lock this down. It goes this way. Lock this down, go like that. And there we go. So now I think we are all done. It is the right consistency. It can't be too soft, too watery, or too hard. It has to be just right for them to be able to lap it up. Obviously, you guys probably know anteaters have those big tongues. They're eating around 35,000 ants a day. So we gotta make up for that with this crazy concoction here. Now we did add the apple cider vinegar and the honey while you guys weren't looking. It is there, that's why we have it out. But anyway, we're gonna scoop this, make the rest of that stuff, and we'll see you guys in the ant eater enclosure. We are at the first cage. Let's see here. Megan has already unlocked it for us. And the beasts are coming, they smell it. They're ready to eat. Hello, little dudes. So we have three tamanduas in here, or lesser ant eaters. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clip this here just to this wall. That way it doesn't get knocked around too much. And this guy hopefully is gonna come and eat it for us right in front of us. Come on, come on. Oh, he smells it. Let me see the camera real quick. He's coming up. He's checking it out. He's not sure if he wants to eat just yet. Maybe he'll go now. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's chow time. He's going in and that tongue is gonna come out. Let's see. He's like, hey, get that camera off me. I don't know what you're doing. Hey, buddy. These guys are really gentle. You can see they have some pretty gnarly claws and we got these two guys hanging out up here. Obviously, they're arboreal. They'll use all these branches to climb up. They're in their little hides right now because it is cold, but they're smelling that food, so hopefully they'll come down here in a second. So these tamanduas are like miniatures of what we are about to see next. These are the smallest of the four anteaters in their species, and this guy's just up here checking out whatever's going on. He's like, that smells oh, pretty good down there. He, oh. Oh, Megan has pointed out that it is full chow time down here. I think he got a little intimidated by the camera, but now he is just eyeballs deep in slush. Guys, this is some really good stuff. As you see, he or she is coming down there, and this guy right here looks like he's just covered in it now. Let's see, let's do a little taste test here. That's pretty, that's pretty bad but they seem to enjoy it themselves. Oh yeah, is that good stuff? We are gonna go and head over to the next cage, but before we do that, I wanna show you guys something really cool. So behind me here, we have Princess Amber, the beautiful Jaguar, and Onyx is coming over too. Obviously, you can see the color variation. These are the two different color variations of Jaguars, but the reason I'm showing you guys these beautiful cats is because these are the predators to the anteaters that we're seeing in this video. Anteaters, like the giant anteater, have these huge claws, and they're actually able to fight these guys off and fight off pumas, but these guys sometimes do win the battle. You know, it's a fight to the end, and Sometimes they win, which these guys, you don't want to mess with them. They have the strongest bite force in, out of all the big cats, pound for pound, and they are just gnarly cats. If you've seen them in planet Earth eating caimans over there in South America, they are just one bad animal. And behind us here, we might as well show you, we have Kunto, the big male lion, which in the last video, you guys saw him eat a full turkey. Go check that out. But anyway, guys, let's go head over to the stars of the show, the giant ant eaters. Now you guys may be able to read this sign. It says to take proper precautions when going into this cage because these guys, they're not cute and cuddly like those other ones. These guys are lean, mean, ant eating machines. Like I said earlier, 35,000 ants a day. Moving that tongue, well you guys are gonna see, 150 times a minute is the average. 
Might get a little dark in here. We are under some tree cover. We're gonna get Megan in here. So the technique we use here is to kind of use the bucket to push ourselves in. Now we do have to be careful, like I said. We're gonna open this out. We are gonna guide this in here and Megan's gonna follow me along. Come on, it's all right. It's okay. Now where is the little hook here? There we go. And we're gonna put that right into there like that. These guys are chowing down. I know it's a little grainy. It is a little dark in here because we have all of this cover for them and this beautiful foliage on their cage to help them feel a little protected. Now look at these guys go. They are chugging it down. Megan's got me a little light there so we get some better images of them and a little bit more clear for you guys. But look how big they are. I'm gonna pass Megan the camera for a second. Now, this is Pinchy and Demetrius, a boy and girl, a loving couple that have not had any babies for us yet, but hopefully soon they will have a little baby that we can show you guys. They are beautiful giant anteaters, the largest of their species. There's four different anteaters in the species, as I said earlier, but look, these talons down here, I don't know if you can see, Megan's trying to hold the light and the camera. Those are some gnarly looking feet right there. And these guys are just loving what we made for them. Hi, big boy. Hi, big boy. Is that good stuff there? What, what, did you know that I made that for you? Now, anteaters and sloths are actually in the same family and their noses are kind of similar. That's Their noses and claws are about the most similar things they have. The rest looks very, very different. But I actually brought these guys a little treat. I'm gonna try to get them in the light over here with it. Let's see if we can get this treat. We have a little tube of honey. It's clear, so you guys can see the tongue working. Let's see if if this big boy, it's okay. It's okay, I don't wanna bother you. Come here. Smell this honey. Oh yeah, oh that honey smells pretty good. Now this is gonna be a sweet treat. We're gonna bring him over here, just like this into the light. You could probably take that light away, Megan. Let's bring them over here. Now we're getting a better image, most likely. Look at that, you can come closer. Now luckily, I brought this treat or else we would not have been able to get them off that food over there. But look at that tongue, move in a little closer and see just how that tongue works. They would stick that into these ant piles that you guys kind of see in your yards and lap up those ants with the sticky saliva that's covering that tongue. Now he is just loving that honey there and I think this was a successful mission in feeding these guys. He's a big boy. These guys are pretty sweet if you know how to read their behavior, but if you don't, you could really get messed up because like I said, those claws, they look like a velociraptor if you've seen any of the Jurassic Park movies and that's not something you want to mess with. It looks like he's about done with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Maybe we will see more Ant eaters in the future. If you guys want to see more, comment down below what you guys want to see here at the zoo, and we will see you in the next adventure. Peace. Hey, big boy.